Hey guys, welcome to Offshoot Comics Off Topic with your host Kirby Kid and Black Superman, also known as David Clark and Walter Bryant. Today we're talking about Captain America, the uh, Winter Soldier, like we promised, but also how it affected Agents of Shield. Captain America was awesome. Yeah, and sorry we didn't put it out when we said um, he's like I have a family and I was sick, still am. Captain America was awesome. It was awesome though. Video's out now. <laughs> Captain America was awesome. And if you watched Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. before and after, it was like one long, seamless experience. Um, so, you know, Arrow, get on it. Just saying. That's not Arrow's fault. It's not. That's like pretty much everybody, everybody else's else Warner fault. Brothers. Everybody yeah. else, except for that crew on Arrow. <laughs> the crew on Arrow is on, top, is on top of it. They're on point. It's everybody else. But, but enough about them. Yeah. Uh, Captain so, America. Um, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., uh, you, you saw a few things setting up, you know, people not knowing who to trust, and uh, Agent Sitwell, who I really liked. Oh, by the way, there's going to be spoilers. Um, Lots so of them. If you haven't seen it, pause this video, go to a movie theater, watch the movie, then come back, and then hit play. Oh, no, 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 no. First, you have to, to go to your DVR or to, um, to your on-demand and watch the Agents episode of S.H.I.E.L.D. Of Shield then Captain come, America. And then, and then Captain and America. And then, then Agents Shield of S.H.I.E.L.D. again. again. Then come yeah. back. There we go. So, um, Sitwell was the other agent that popped up in some of the uh, Marvel one-shots. Uh, he was in last week's episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And he was going to the Trish Cadeli, the three Delian thing. I can't say that. I can't pronounce it. It's impossible. It's not a real word. Anyways, <laughs> and um, he, he, he goes there, and then you see him on a mission that he got sent on from there, which is mm -hmm. kind of cool. You know, it's kind of continuing. Um, Captain America, you want to just, just say the point of the movie? You want to just drop that bomb now? Yeah, okay, so just for all you people out there who, who don't know and who are listening right now, <sighs> Hail Hydra. Hail Hydra. See, it turns out that Hydra is everywhere. Was everywhere. Hydra Hydra actually was there when Shield was formed. Mm hmm You cut so, one head, two more take its place. Hydra has been around messing up things behind Shield's back, under Shield's nose. And even Nick Fury didn't notice. Right, but like, here's the Nick thing, though. Fu Nick Fury didn't notice. I, th I, I think he... Uh, he I mean, finally noticed? He, he noticed before it, went, before it popped off, which is why they're still alive. Yeah. And, and he, said that, he said that movie. Mm -hmm. He's like, I, I noticed. <laughs> but that it, it, I, in the movie and in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., the people who end up being Hydra are ridiculous. First of all, side note, if they had S.H.I.E.L.D. Like, in control, like they said they had level 9 and 10 agents, wouldn't they have... Uh, Iron Man's technology, because he gave them repulsor technology. Wouldn't they be able to, to contain the Hulk or you know do something to him? Wouldn't they be able to uh, mess with all the Avengers? Like, why would they let the Avengers form? Ultron doesn't mess with the Hulk. Shield ain't mess. Ultron's with the Hulk. smart though. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. The, the, look, if they're smart, they're not messing with the Hulk. We've already seen what messing with the Hulk does. <laughs> messing with the Hulk brings down an entire alien race. But you know what? I, I love how Hydra, even though they work for the Nazis never believed in Nazi philosophy. They're like, why would you only keep one part of humanity? All that brain power going to waste. <laughs> yeah. Because like, there were a lot of non-white people in, in Hydra. You know? And, and you know what happened? They caused S.H.I.E.L.D. to be destroyed. <laughs> Hydra without, white, with, with just white people, got beat by Cap. By himself. By himself. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, you know what? We want to diversify our bonds. <laughs> no, but yeah, it was a... Uh, Shield is uh, Shield is gone. Cap destroyed it because they're like, look, we can't save Shield because we don't know who else is Hydra. Um, and Agents of Shield, as far as who's Hydra, that cool agent that trained um, Agent Ward, he's Hydra, which I was so hoping he wasn't. And then, now this is not confirmed because he didn't say it, but I think Agent Ward is Hydra, or I, I don't think he's I don't think he's Hydra. I think he's a uh, he, he's either he's either brainwashed. Or he's there on on Coulson's orders, or or he's Hydra, but having second thoughts because he's he's in love with Sky. All of which could possibly. Be I'm possible. just glad Victoria Hand is dead because she's too dangerous to keep alive. She is too dangerous. Yeah, she, she needs to be dead. She 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 really yeah she's. She, we she's are better off with her dead because she may be Shield, but she's still scary. <laughs> um, yeah, actually, it, she's so dangerous that. When everyone started thinking that it was possibly her as the clairvoyant, everyone was like, yeah, 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 you, you're right, you're right. Yeah. That, that, that makes total sense. We'll just go with that. Oh, yeah, by the way, Sidwell's dead because he's, he's Hydra, which I, I was disappointed. He was in that Marvel one shot about the Hulk, and I'm like, yeah, you're cool. 
And you know what sucks? Like, I have, like, there's been two shows that I've been watching him on, on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and for a while he was on season one of The Americans. He was an FBI agent. He was killed, he was tortured and killed in that one too. This time he just got thrown into a car. I've but he doesn't have a good track Americans. record. Oh my God, on FX every Wednesday. It's so good. It's so good. I'm still trying to watch the Hatfields and the McCoys. Don't, don't, no, skip that. Go to the Americans. The Hatfields and the McCoys. Russians. The women are hot and McCoys and naked, often. Okay, I will be watching the Americans. See, See that's what, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Civil Wars Hydra. Um, remember the ain't the stupid annoying senator from Iron Man Two, who yeah. uh, who was a uh, touch it like was like posing with a uh, with Tony at the end and didn't like him. Mm-hmm. He was Hydra. I was glad. I was glad about that. Oh, one. I was yeah. like, he's like hell Hydra. I'm like, I was mad because Sigma was Hydra, but I was happy because he was Hydra, which means he's gonna get killed. I'm like, yes, kill yeah, him. Like his it. face, his face, just like like I know his face doesn't normally look like all that's crunched up. I know that's acting, but he's just like, I'm like oh. Kill him! Kill him in the face now! <laughs> oh! Just, I was so happy when the FBI showed up at the end. I'm like, yes! Oh, and then, oh dude, when, when we were in the theater mm-hmm. and um, we're watching as like, um, as like, dude, uh, the the senator guy was getting ready to kill everyone, mm-hmm. and then the female senator started yeah. kicking the crap out of them. We were like, did I miss something here? Is she like from like Japan? <laughs> and then it was, uh, it was Black Widow. I'm like, ah, okay. Yeah. Like but, uh, like wearing technology from Mission Impossible, so which yeah. tell me that this technology Hydra has access to. Like tell me Hydra has access to everything Shield does. They have all the they have all no, the, not even technically Hydra has access to everything. They, Shield have, does. they have all the data and all the technology. That means they, they, they can make staff. their own Iron Man. They got the staff. They have the staff. They, they can make their own Iron Man. They they have access to uh, Graviton, which I I believe in Angel Shield. They're trying to go to the freezer to, to make sure they don't get Graviton, mm-hmm. which they're going to. They're going to. That's happening. But, oh, so, remember we were talking about um, how we couldn't figure out how the heck they got the staff? Mm-hmm. I still don't have figured it out because at the end of the movie, Black Widow actually is holding it and she hands it off, like, to someone from S.H.I.E.L.D. Well, she hands it off from someone from S.H.I.E.L.D. It was so, it. so it's probably Hydra. They were like, cool. Ching. Or or if I got with S.H.I.E.L.D., he ended up dead later that night. Yeah. The, oh, this yeah. whole thing, like, like this whole dynamic. I mean, it never, it's never happened in the comic books before. But to watch this whole thing play out, where these chain of events happen, in and order. Hydra basically has taken over the hap- uh, like and the whole world. Scenes from Captain America were in the movie because it's all one experience. That is cool. Marvel beat you to it, DC. I know you're on Suicide Watch, but they beat you badly. They really did. And then. Oh, and then like I, I've been reading the previews, mm-hmm. and Nick Fury's coming for the fi- for the um, season finale. Well, he doesn't have a choice. He, he, like, but win. like he's going to be not like a, a cameo. Like he's going to be in, in the, the season finale. Oh, okay. And uh, you know, I and I think the next season is going to be all the Hydra because if you notice, they they instead that instead of showing the Shield logo at the end, they showed they the showed Hydra. Hydra logo. Yeah. And we do like it was funny when they when they started uh, unspinning the code at the beginning of the episode. I saw the H. I'm like, oh, here it goes. I was getting ready to hail Hydra. I'm like, here it goes. Here it goes. And it spelled up like, hail Hydra. But my parents are like, what's going on? I'm like, don't worry about it. <laughs> Go back in your room. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, okay, we, we, we're just going to leave. But yeah, it was um, it, it was a, it was a really good episode. Um, by the way, the staff was used in an interesting way. Um, the staff's main power now is to subvert the the um, the legal powers owned by uh, Fox over mutants. That's his power. Uh, it doesn't have any other power besides that. It uh, has allowed them to create. Uh, I was going to say Silver Fox. I don't know why. Quicksilver, Quicksilver. and Scarlet Witch, who is a uh, Olsen child, like Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. Yeah, so she's already a billionaire. Yeah. Okay, but anyway, she's doing this for fun at this point. <laughs> Dude, like we're sitting there and we're watching, this and there were so many really cool things happening, in Captain America. By the way. Um, for just the the pure joy of seeing the Avengers up there, the Avengers is still slightly the number one superhero movie of all time. But Captain America, dude, that Falcon, they pulled him off without making him stupid. Oh, they pulled him off. He's better. He was better in this movie than he ever has been on this cartoon. On the cartoon, mm-hmm. ever. Because, like, for example, him having the name Falcon makes sense now. Yeah. Because the backpack is called Falcon. And he didn't fanboy the entire time. He did fanboy. A little bit. I mean, come on. You, he, you, you don't meet your hero and, and not he, fanboy he fought, a little bit. He but. fought S.H.I.E.L.D. Because, like, oh, Cap needs me? Oh, by the way, I love him. Everyone. everyone thought Cap is a traitor and part of Hydra. We must kill him. And the Cap was over the loudspeaker. I am actually a good guy. Kill the other people who told you to hate me. They're like, cool. 
<laughs> yeah, we like that <laughs> like, better anyway. They're like, all right, yeah. Like, Cap said it. I mean, he's not in charge, but yeah, he, Cap, he, he said it. We have to do it now. Actually, Nick Fury said, okay, Cap, you're in charge. That is, ex- yeah. those were his exact words. Yeah. I, I, that was an exact and, quote. And I love the scene in the elevator. Like, uh, of course, they spoil all this stuff in the commercials, but I love the scene in the elevator where Cap just knew. He's like, all right. If I want to get out, <laughs> dude. First of all, that whole scene was fictitious because you know, good and well, the black people be like, "Yeah, I'm a." <laughs> actually, I was actually in here. I was going to the floor. I, I had nothing to do with this. I'm just gonna stand in the corner right here. <laughs> but dude, they were all sweating, had the hands of the gun. We about to fight Captain America for real? Okay, I just check it. I'm just reassuring myself. At the, the, the first Avenger, he jumped out of like the 40th story of a building and, onto his and shield. Well, I was like. You gotta be kidding. Like that, that's an option when you're Captain America. Yeah. He didn't even. He's like, cool. And first of all, you know that's bulletproof, bulletproof glass. Uh huh. You know it is. So Nick Fury designed that building probably. So yeah. So he went through bulletproof glass with his arm, with almost no run up, and then landed on the shield and got up and walked away. Got yeah. on a motorcycle and then drove off. And once again, I had a problem with the fact that no other Avengers showed up. And you know at least Tony was was nearby because if you looked at the scene where um, the new hill carriers are are aiming at people that uh, Hydra once dead, uh, Stark Tower is on there. Yeah, but see Tony had just blown up all of his armors, so Tony's out of this one. No, no, they but they no, no, he's still he, you know he's got one, he's got one. You mean the piece of crap that he was left with at he's the end all, of the movie? First of all, he blew them all. First up. of all, Samuel Jackson said this movie takes place a few years after Avengers, uh, the first one, which means he's probably built at least one. He blew them all up in Iron Man three. Yeah, that was like a year ago. That was like a day ago, dude. You, you there's no. That way was like he, yesterday morning. There's no it way like, like, he hasn't built something. I like, remember at the end of Avengers, he was building freaking the, the Quinjet inside the inside the uh, thing. Yeah, but he blew up all the armors. He had some. He was dangerous. First of all, why he is Caucasian? All, one thing that um, <laughs> he might have still one. He's like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm not. You know what's, you know what's up? Pepper's like. Uh, don't don't have armors. I mean, I'm gonna keep the powers, but don't have armors because you're now a weak mortal human. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now look, we have friends. I won't name any names, but we have friends out there who will do really, really, really dumb things for women. Mm-hmm. But Tony Stark is a billionaire genius. He should know that blowing up every one of his armors was a really bad idea. He's he's got some spare there. He's, he's got it. He's ha- he has to. I mean, no, no, I, I was joking before, but he's yeah. got to have something behind. I mean, I know the the, 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 first, the first one's destroyed, which is probably sad because you know memories. But you know he's got something. But one thing I I, I thought was pretty cool is that they, they, they tell you that um, Captain America, not Captain America, uh, uh, what's his name, uh, Tony Stark's father, Howard, was killed uh, by by Hydra. Um, but here's the problem with that. Uh, so you killed him, right? Because he's dangerous. Because he's smart, right? Okay. Kill the son. Just end the Stark line. You didn't, and now you have Iron Man. Seemed like a good idea to anybody. You just one of your greatest well, foes. They, they kind of, they they kind of have Iron Man technology, you know. To, no, 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 no. You you nip that in the bud. They were doing fine on their own. <laughs> they actually were. They were actually doing. <laughs> they really, were doing really totally well. fine on their own with using the the Infinity Stones. You know, um, there's this there was this person I was reading an interview and they were talking about how to a certain degree movies are changing things about comic books because they don't like the randomness of things that happen in comics um but and I'm, I'm gonna get a little a, a little Christian here on you guys I guess you'll just have to get over that but God tends to give you what you need so it's not really random if Hydra is taking over the world with super weapons and a cosmic cube, then why wouldn't a gamma-powered super being just be created in the middle of the desert? Right, but like, and why kill Tony? Wouldn't, why would, like you kill? Just wait till they're all in the same car and kill them. Yeah, but see, but see, that's the thing. Why wouldn't you kind of just forget to kill the the genius the, son, the one who's already on newspaper covers as being super smart? The, the, one, yeah, the one who at eight years old was actually smart building, than his off, yeah, building weapons for his dad. Yeah, yeah, I mean, just that's stupid. And then, like, and why doesn't Tony know that? Hydra well, actually, is? they kidn- they kidnapped him though. I mean, for all we know, in the beginning of in the beginning of the first Iron Man movie, mm-hmm. that might have been Hydra. Hell, Hydra! It probably was Hydra, and they probably got their own Iron Man now too. Yeah, because they did find the body parts, they well, and well, they yeah. have repulsive technology. Because you know, someone copied that. Mm-hmm. They went <laughs> Control V. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Tony, took you years to make this? I got it in five seconds. <laughs> but, I mean, and then, but I'm surprised Tony didn't come help Cap because he should know at this point Hydra killed his father. 
Yeah, no. Nah, because he, he, he hacked he hacked Shield too. Yeah. So he should know. Hydra's on CNN, and you don't come do nothing. But, and, it, and it happened over the course of days, Walter. They couldn't do. They couldn't happen though. I know money. Yeah, in, yeah, in real yeah. life, but like in the, in the book, they should have how like oh Iron Man's off world or something, you know. Hulk, he ain't got no reason to be there. Well, but Bruce Banner does though. Well, I bet you if Cap went on TV and went, Bruce, I need you. All of a sudden, <laughs> actually that would happen. That would happen. Yeah, he would come up, Cap. Happen. He wouldn't know what's going on. Like Cap could be like, I'm Hydra. He'd be like, That's cool. That's fine. Yeah, but well, <laughs> see, Captain America is the only person who one understands him, and two respects him enough to like have his back at all times mm-hmm. I mean look Captain America had met Bruce Banner at the, in the beginning of the first um, Avengers, Avengers yeah. and then and Banner's like what do you know about me he's like all I need to know and that was it and, that was his entire I, response at the moment Hulk was like oh my god you're awesome <laughs> <laughs> fanboy mode enabled <laughs> but everyone except for Tony uh, has fanboy mode when it comes to Cap yeah that's true that's only because he knows that his, his father loved Cap more let's be honest <laughs> let's just be honest with everybody involved well, okay, look. He loved okay. Cap more. No, well, Nick Fury doesn't have fanboy mode either. I don't think so. I think, I think hey, he, he actually thinks more. He thinks more of him like you're the only person on this planet my equal. Which is really not true. He's much better than Nick Fury. He really is. But but the fact that the, the, the fact that Nick Fury actually thinks of him as on his level is already the biggest compliment right. that you could really because because Nick Fury probably thinks he could beat Galactus. He, he can't. He, he probably could. He can't. Give him enough prep time. Nick Fury? No. Batman can do it. Nick Fury cannot do it. Oh, no, not Nick Fury himself. Amanda the Waller can do it. Gets. Well, because she has, she runs DC Universe. Yeah, Amanda Waller could do it. Nick Fury can't do it. You don't think he could get some stuff together and uh, mess with it? No, nah, because nobody likes him. <laughs> That's true. That's very true. No one likes Nick Fury. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was, a, it was a good movie. It was a really good movie. I'm really excited for Scarlet Witch and uh, Quicksilver. He looks sort of fast, but like even when he was blurred, I'm like, dude, I can see where you're going. Like I can shoot you. Yeah, the 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 flash would totally destroy you. At first of all, the flash away. wouldn't be captured. He'd be like, vibrate, 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 see through walls. Yes, I'm running. Oh, you know the flash can vibrate at two different speeds, right? He can vibrate so he can just go through, and he can vibrate so he can blow things I'm up. I'm pretty sure he, he can probably vibrate however long he feels like, like whatever level he feels like. Yeah, he's like, you make, make, me, make me levels. Like he can vibrate and like create life. Like bam, look, I I'm God now. <laughs> but um, I'm I'm curious to see what Scarlet Witch's powers are because it can't be probability anymore. It could be. You think? Oh, just not mutant. Yeah, I mean, they're just not going to call her a mutant. But I don't. But, but if you use the word offshoot, you owe us money. <laughs> okay, I, anyway. but she's probably going to just have like telekinesis and stuff. Cause that's what, that's what she was doing. Because she doesn't. Because probability doesn't give you the power to do. Well, I mean, I you guess things if you bit. really think about it, you probably could. You know, the chances of this floating in this exact pattern are ex- are one out of one, and then it would happen. But then it just. I think it's it a lot of math, though. You're trapped in the box. You ain't got enough. First of all, you trapped in the box. Just get out. Just get out. Why are you still there? Oh, wait, no. They volunteered. Did they volunteer? No, no, no. Remember? He said, what about the volunteers? And he's like, uh, uh, barely the ones that are dead, you know, super far under. And the ones that survived? And he's like, oh, yes, the twins. They volunteered. No, no. I don't think that that's what they meant. I think that they were saying the ones who volunteered, we're going we're gonna to introduce them to the twins. No. We're going to have to watch this over again. I saw it twice in that one day. Oh, yeah, I can tell you. I saw it twice that day. Oh, you did? I saw it at 8 and then again at midnight. Oh, okay. I saw it back to back. I mean, if I'm wrong, what he said, I- I'm sure you will tell us. But I'm pretty sure he said, and what about the ones that survived in referencing to the um, the volunteers? But the one Quicksilver twins. did not look like he was there on on purpose. Quicksilver didn't look like he was he was healthy. No, dude, he's buff. He's, he's oh, he was buff. No, 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 no. Understand? No, no, no. But there's a difference between being buff and being healthy. Cause like my favorite wrestler, the Ultimate Warrior, he was buff. He did. Not how old though, right? He was like 54. That's not old. Oh, and I, the older I get, the less old that becomes. The, the, the more young it is, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, no, I actually wasn't. Looking, I was gonna, looking at the girl, Scarlet Witch. Ever since X Men uh, Evolutions, the cartoon, mm-hmm. like I was, I was like thirteen when it came out. I had I had a crush on <laughs> Scarlet Witch, that version. But she was not like the a, one, not, not the one in the comic book. She was like a goth bad girl, though. Yeah, I mean, I like her attitude. They just like you know. Wait, wait. You had you had a crush on the one on the TV show instead of the half naked chick in the comic book. Oh no, the one now was fine. I didn't read comics back then. Remember. Oh, that's right. That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Right. So you wouldn't know that. Uh, no, I wouldn't know. She was walking that. around basically in a bikini no, and a cape. I know now. I know now, though. 
as some, as, as some hooker boots. Yeah, which is, they all wear that. But they're like female empowerment. No, you're not really. <laughs> We're winning. <laughs> but it was it was a good movie. I loved how it traveled over, and it's going to still have ramifications. And Shield is gone for a while. You know it's going to come back. Yeah, yeah. Because Shield is just unless unless they go the hammer route, which they really can't, because Green Goblin's owned by Sony. True. Why can't they get the rights back? You're Disney. You can do like you can just walk over and steal uh, it. Because they, you know they something can't about Disney, making movies. Or can't the mouse just go kill them? It could. They, I'm sure they can. I'm uh, sure Mickey's an assassin. They can assassinate somebody and then just walk. By the way, speaking of Mickey, Marvel is now in Disney Infinity. Finally, it's called Disney Infinity 2.0. I mean, I just want to take the Incredible Hulk and pound on Mr. Incredible. By the way. Star, Star Wars is next. The Hulk versus Darth Vader. The Hulk with Darth Vader's powers. Because that's necessary. Darth Hulk. Mm-hmm. Hulk Vader. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Uh, it's pretty exciting. Um, on a side note, Naruto was okay. Guy, I haven't read it yet. Guy was wrecking the crap out of a dog. He lost half his body to a kick. And he told him... Guy, you are the greatest Taijutsu user ever. This yeah. is like a guy who's basically God at this point. He's like, out of everyone who's ever lived, I'm assuming including himself because he lost half his body to one kick, <laughs> you are the greatest head-to-hand combat fighter ever. He and said, then Naruto showed up and did the and did the heavy lifting. No, Naruto showed up and kicked the orb away. He didn't, I don't, Naruto can't do that level of, of, uh, of, of eight gates. Well, actually... Imagine if Naruto used eight gates, because see, eight gates with Guy is him amplifying the no chakra he already has. Same with, with Lee, mm-hmm. amplifying what nothing they have. So what happens if Naruto uses eight gates? Well, first off, the entire world would probably be destroyed, and he would die because he can't breathe in space. Yeah, because because let's face it, Naruto with like no in, with nothing inhibiting his powers. That's bad. By the way, he's also in QB Sage mode right now. That everyone has been calling since he first saw it after the pain. But how does he do that though? Well, remember, it, basically, it, all, all it is is that he's using QB Chakra. I, that would be my point. So, so, he, so it's QB, QB Chakra mixing with his own Chakra. QB's and then gone. He, and then he, no, 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 QB's back, remember? No. Oh, uh, in, this, in, this, in this chapter, all the nine demons are, like, are, are, like both sides of QB are in Naruto, and all the other demons are still a little, are a little bit, because Obito got and gave some of it. I don't remember when they actually gave it to him, because I didn't see it, so I'm calling BS on that, but it happened at some point, apparently. Um, well, yeah, he has the demons back. And so, anyways, he's using the demon chakra with his own chakra and then calling Sage chakra, which is not a hard thing to do. It's just the QB wasn't allowing it hmm. before. Which, which is why he did it all that time? Yeah, which is also, I mean, obviously, which is why they sh- like, he should have been doing that the whole war. Like, like remember at the point where, he, where QB's like, you Sage chakra, but you won't let me. He's like, dude, <laughs> did you forget the fist bump? We're bros now. He's like, oh, yeah. I could have done this the entire. Do you know? Do you know how fat? Uh, well, look, Naruto, no, Naruto, no, Naruto, Naruto fought Madara before he got uber power when he was in Edo. Uh, yeah, he could have ended it right there. But he's seventeen years. He no. wasn't able to do it. First of all, sixteen, and he's only had Sage on for like a, three weeks. But he should have thought. Wait a minute! I have complete control of the Kiwi's power. Ooh, Sage mode. Let me enhance Infinity. Okay. No, nothing you're about to say will justify what happened. Goku. That's a bad place to start off. Merged with Vegeta. Right. To form Gogeta. Right. And could kill the ultimate dragon with like one punch. Right. Instead, messed with it for 15 minutes and then lost Gogeta power. Right. So there's already a precedent for this. And <laughs> Kishimoto's favorite manga is uh, Dragon Ball, so... So, yeah, there's already a precedent for this. But, so, yeah. yeah. So, anyways, Naruto comes back. He kicks an orb with his bare foot, which is impressive because everyone's like, oh, no, that's that destroys you, but you didn't destroy you, so yay. And then he somehow heals a uh, guy with his uh, this little orb on his hand. Oh, it was a pretty cool flashback that you didn't know about because you didn't read it. Um, of, uh, of Guy and Kakashi for the first time, right? And Kakashi's, like, making fun of him because, you know, his dad's, like, the white fang. He's legendary. And Kakashi's obviously going to be legendary, too. And, um... You know, he made fun of him and was like, let's just go. And then Kakashi's dad, as guys walking away, he's like, hey, son, uh, you better fix that attitude. He's like, why, dad? He's like, uh, he's going to be better than you. Like, he looked at Guy then, who just failed to get in the academy. He's like, no, no, 
he's really better than you. And it, it flash forward to, to, to the present with Kakashi trying to brace himself from the wind of one of Guy's kicks as he's fighting the strongest person ever. He's like, yeah, you was right. <laughs> <laughs> like, their quote-unquote rivalry, not much of one. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but Kakashi's got a shining gun. Yes, so does the guy he's killing with one kick. He took away half of Madara's body with a kick. That's not even a cutting move. He's like, kick to the face. And he's like, oh my God. <laughs> I lost half my body. But dude, he's on the floor right now. Just like, I, I'm still relevant. <laughs> hey, you, you, you know what could have stopped that from happening? Huh. Being an undead zombie with, with an infinite chakra. It would have. Wow, isn't that funny how that happened? Uh, weaker, weaker Madara would have had a better shot. Because he could just take the hits and then regenerate and be like, okay, cool. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Seems like somebody made a grave error. <laughs> you want to talk about grave error? Look, I know you haven't released this yet, but I can already see the writing on the wall. Give her to Sasuke. Yes. Give her to Sasuke. Hinata should be with Naruto. Sakura should be with Sasuke. Give her, give her, to, Nas- give her to Sasuke. Because if, 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 you, if you give Sakura to Naruto... I just I will I will rip the I'll stop reading pain I will stop at pain. that panel and make my own ending <laughs> in my head look I get look at look she had already said that when the choice came up like a couple years ago she said she would choose Sasuke then a couple then then a year later she said I don't know which one I her would heart choose. is as fickle as the autumn sky remember she said that uh huh but she doesn't have to choose anymore. Because Sasuke is a good guy. Exactly. Give her to Sasuke. Yes. Because logically, she still likes Sasuke more. She'll yeah. take Naruto second place, even though that doesn't make no sense because he's way better. And, and and really, realistically speaking, she should take Naruto first just because Sasuke really has punked her a lot. Yeah. Naruto should just try to like, kill her a couple technically, times. Technically, Naruto should get a harem because they need to start to the restart the Uzumaki clan. That's not even just as a guy speaking. That's just like reality also as a guy and then also <laughs> let's face it he's the hero of the village so he should just be able to have a harem just because mm-hmm. and he's got shadow clones he'd never get caught <laughs> he would never get caught <laughs> maybe like like you, know, you go on a date with one girl and then you go on a date with the other girl across town but they're ninjas though so like they'd be like if you're a shadow clone and then if he turns out not to be all those clones could take damage remember one of his clones Fought Madara almost to a standstill. Remember when he first came in with Team That's true. That's true yeah. They almost sealed him right there, and that was a clone. His clones are taking. He was so powerful. He got all those hits. Did Ross and Shurikens dropped out of QB mode? Went into Sage mode. Kept fighting, and then popped. I believe he only popped to tell Naruto what was going on, like the real Naruto. Mm-hmm. He could do it. He could cheat on all his wives. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Shadow Clone was made. There were some dudes like, look. I'm with my wife, but I that oh my gosh, he's hot. You know what? Split into two, and he made shadow clones. Dude, there's a um, that's why it's forbidden. <laughs> that, there's an episode of um of of Naruto Shippuden mm-hmm. that you've never seen before because it's a filler episode. Oh yeah, I'm seeing it. And it's uh like Naruto is uh on this trip going to meet Killer B, and so he uh he um there's this one episode where he's got his shadow clones and he's using them as the crew for the ship, so he won't let them go. Mm-hmm. And so they're all beginning to get their own personalities, and they're, they're, they're <laughs> like they like begin to rebel against him. <laughs> what? Yeah, they're like. But you know what's funny though? I believe Naruto would do that. He would gain his own personality from his other selves and fight back. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that way I might actually watch. That's pretty hilarious. The clones are fighting back, and and now his clones are epically powerful. Yeah. So now it's actually a little bit of a struggle. Yeah, they actually they they actually capture him and hold him hostage. And only his B comes in and save him? No. He had, he doesn't get to be on that episode. So who saved him? They run out of power? If you're gonna watch it, I'm not gonna tell you. Oh, okay. Was it Sakura? No, if you're not gonna Guy? if you're gonna watch it, I'm not gonna tell, tell you. Me. Are you gonna watch it? No. Oh, okay. You're gonna watch no, it. No I'm not. Okay. Tell me. Like it, it turns out it turns out to be a dream. Oh, dude, who's gonna watch it? Not the whole thing. I'm gonna watch the whole thing, and now you've ruined it because it's a dream. No, I'm playing. No, 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 actually, the whole thing isn't a dream. Like, like the, the, they're rebelling against him mm-hmm. is not a dream. That that actually is happening. Oh, okay. Then a um, an anchor about is about to fall on his head, and he doesn't notice it. Mm-hmm. And so, like one of the shadow clones knocks him out of the way. Well, when that happens, then he gets knocked unconscious, and then it becomes then it goes into a dream where the shadow clones who are beginning to rebel decide to take him hostage and whatever. Oh, and he wakes up and they're all gone. Well, no, because no, they're all still there. 
but 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 like while he, while he's knocked out, he starts dreaming about them taking over, and then they start saying, "Well, you know, first off, you can only summon us because we allow you to, and then which one of us is real, you know?" And then they start having this battle about which one of them is actually real. You can only summon them because no, no, you're me. That was his response. We're wait, we're working for our common goal. You're all me. That was his response. That was why they took him hostage. Because they're all him. Yeah. Because because apparently shadow clones actually come from somewhere, and so they <laughs> all the versions of yourself. Yeah. So they actually come from somewhere. So the huh. only reason why they are able to be summoned is because they allow you to summon. So them. it's like the summoning contracts. Yeah. According to the monk or to the, the except for he's anime. got like a thousand hymns running around, but they're they're all him, but they're all summoned there. <laughs> Because they allow themselves, but then to. they disappear and give up all the knowledge to Naruto. Because yeah, Phil is just stupid. <laughs> just stupid. I'm. I disagree with all this. <laughs> it's not real to me anymore. So anyway, but, like I, 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 that filler and like one other filler have actually been good. The other ones suck. All that to say, Agents of Shield and Captain America was good. Agents of Shield is back. Hopefully, they keep it that way. Yeah, uh, it's still not as good as Arrow. Yeah. But now, okay, here's a question for you. Why do I feel the need to compare the two? Because they're both they're not even the same type same of show. Sort of time. One's Tuesday, one's Wednesday. They're both comic books. There's no other shows like that on the air. They're not even the same and type Marvel of show. And DC. And there are a lot of shows like that it's on the Marvel air now, but they're all on they're all on the WB. But this one is Marvel and DC. That's true. The war goes on forever. Yeah, well, this this particular war, DC is winning. Not not this week. They ran a, re- a rerun. They lost this week to me. <laughs> oh, do we say that Victoria Hand is dead? Victoria has dead. She got shot in the face and the back of the head by Ward. By Ward, who we're not really sure whether he's yeah. a traitor he's like, or not already. But yeah, yeah. Um, so that's it. Uh, now there'll be no video next week because next week is WonderCon. Um, if you want to meet us at WonderCon, we'll be at Small Press Booth eighty three. Um, we'll be the ones who look like this. So you know, just keep walking to see us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and, and in case you don't remember what our faces look like, two big black dudes. Doing comic books. We'll be the only ones. Um, <laughs> check out our app, uh, which is on the I- iOS and Android. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter at I'll Shoot Comics. Um, just you know, keep up to date. We have a booster campaign going on right now. It's almost over. It's booster.com slash offshoot comics. Help us grow and keep doing this. The money goes to um, paying, you know, the, the different costs and also to our artists. Um, you get a cool t shirt out of it with all of our characters on it, done by our artist uh, Umberto, doing who does our Orion. Who is also making his, his uh, debut at WonderCon. Mm-hmm. Buy it. And Umberto will be there to sign it. Yeah. That's right. So um, we're, we're doing a lot of things. We're, we're going to be really busy next week. Um, but yeah, thanks for, for watching. We have a busy, busy, busy period. We're, oh, we're also like, going to be at... Uh, Tustin. Not Tustin. Well, yes, Tustin, but that's in May. Tustin comes at before the other yes, things Yes, this weekend, though, on Saturday, we're going to be watching Deadpool Get Married... And uh, hopefully, maybe sort of talk to Rob Lyle. Yeah, and then on Sunday, well, you know, you can meet us, but we're not going to be paying you any attention. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yes, that, that's it for now. Uh, hopefully, we'll have more things to show you as it comes up, but do not expect the video next week. Um, until next time, we your host, Kirby King. And Black Superman. See you later, guys. Hey, guys, don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe. Share our videos like crazy. That's right, because we love you, we want you to love us, and we want to keep making videos for you. And keep leaving us comments. We love comments. Yes, and we answer comments. Unlike some of the other guys, we'll get out there, we'll answer them, and if you uh, have a great comment, we'll make a video about it. And if you have a not-so-great comment, we will try to address that issue. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, thanks. Till next time, we've been your host, Kirby Kid. And Black Superman. See you later, guys. Hail Hydra. Walter. I'm just going to go ahead and get shot, you know, (laughs) because...